what is social listening and how are you actually not just going to make money from social media, but engage in a very powerful and authentic way with your followers. Social media platforms are getting way more decentralized. There's, I think right now there's 130 different social media platforms. So how are you going to harness all of that without jumping from tab to tab? I'm Eva Taylor. I'm the publisher of DIY Marketers and the host of Bizapalooza Chat. And today I'm going to share with you my favorite tool for social listening and for understanding my audience from a variety of different platforms all in one place. It's called Brand24. And this is the homepage. You can, it's telling you all the different things you can do. You can analyze your competitors. You can discover customer insights. It really just helps you synthesize and understand what the conversation is about in your marketplace. In fact, just to give you some context, because I'm actually going to show you how I use it, but um, something really exciting happened when I watched a Brand24 employee give a talk at a conference. And he was taking us through the platform and explaining how it worked. Well, while he was doing that, he gave some wonderful tips. And folks actually used his tips. And inside of that 30-minute talk, there were at least two or three people that shared that using his tips and how he used Brand24, because a tool is a tool. It's what you do with it that really matters. That's the strategy. So even though they weren't using Brand24 at the time, they used his strategies and his engagement and his listening strategies and literally closed deals through social while they were at the conference. I've never seen anything like it. And if that has you excited, let's keep going. And let me show you how Brand24 helps you listen to your audience. Now, you need to know that I am the host of a popular Twitter chat, Bizapalooza chat. And in the past, you know, when Twitter was in its heyday, we have reached about 2 million small business owners every single week or every single chat. That's really come down quite a bit with all the issues that Twitter has had. But what I do with Brand24 here in the left-hand pane are what you call projects. Now, because I run a Twitter chat and that is my primary way of using Brand24, uh, these are the chats I'm tracking. I'm also tracking my brand name. I'm also tracking some general terms here. Uh, if I'm more, so I've got very general terms and I've got some small business terms. Uh, but let me just kind of show you what I know best because as I mentioned, I use this to track my chat. And here is the chat. And what you can see is you can see that it's telling me the number of mentions of that hashtag, what the reach is for that hashtag, and a non-social reach. There's something else I wanted to show you that I sort of blew past, but I think this is really interesting. It gives you a presence score. So your presence score measures the popularity of this topic at a given time. It runs from zero to 100. So what you can see is this is a representation of our activity online. So our score is bigger than 57% of the brands. That's actually not too bad. Uh, but you can see a term like small business that's way more generic is going to um, tell you, see, it's bigger than 91% of the brands. A term like, cust uh, this is custard, which is a Twitter chat, but it's also a popular hashtag. So you can see how big a topic, how popular a topic is. I find this interesting that marketing is only at 41%. So this score is bigger than 69% of the brand. So you want this number, this will just kind of tell you how popular you are at that given time. So 
let's go back here and we can take a look. So this is what I'm tracking here is our hashtag. And I like to look at things about the hashtag that tells me, see, you can see all the different audiences. Obviously I'm not on TikTok, but we're gonna take a look at a more, so it tells you where is this being talked about. You can see what some of the more popular uh, topics are. I really love this idea of sentiment score. So if you're a brand and you're tracking customer satisfaction or something wrong, the sentiment score is going to be very, very important. Um, the next thing I like to do, we're back over here in the left-hand bar, is take a look at the summary. The summary gives you uh, the overall reach. So you can see inside of 30 days, we're at 5.6 million. It's actually not too bad. We were averaging about six to eight million. So we've dropped a few, again, with the issues that Twitter has had. But we just love Twitter and we don't, we just are gonna keep saying, right? And this tells you where this hashtag is being talked about. Uh, the other thing that I use it for is um, you can take a deeper dive in analysis. And this is something I wanted to share with you because I think it's really, really important. Um, what I like to look at is this number right here, social media interactions. This is actually telling you the number of interactions generated with the mentions. I like to look at this as velocity. And the bigger this number is, the more conversation there is about something. And then you can look at sources and who is having that con or where that conversation is happening. Obviously, it's on Twitter. I love this one too. Who is having the conversation? In this case, they're calling this influencer. So if you are tracking a popular hashtag, we're going to be taking a look at that. Who is using that hashtag? How much, how popular are they? What type of influence do they have? Right, this is the influencer score, eight out of 10. So we can see who has the highest influencer score, their level of influence, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, you can pick out, if you're looking for testimonials, you can pick out specific chats and look at how beautifully formatted they are. Um, so I really love that. And another one of my favorite things is you can compare. So you can do a competitive analysis. So I like to compare how is my chat doing against, say, another chat. So uh, let's, I'm going to pick, um, I was picking Twitter smarter for the longest time, but they, they moved over to um, Spaces, so now it's not a fair comparison. I'm just going to pick Winnie Sun. She, has a, she also has a very popular chat. And as you can see, now her chat doesn't happen as often, but um, you know you you can see how that goes. You can, you can sit there and compare yourself to other chats. I know, I'm gonna compare myself to a super popular chat, which is Custserve. They are crazy popular. And now you can see here we are. Here's Winnie Sun, and here's Custserve. Now Custserve has been a chat for a really really long time, and you can see that these are chats that have gained traction. So I use this a lot to share with brands. But now let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at a much broader topic, like in the area of small business. We're just gonna take a look at this very broad topic because now you can see that the, um, you can see the overall number of mentions what the social media reach is, and you can see like where is this conversation happening, right? All of it, there's a lot of mentions for that, but you can see that a lot of it is happening. Look at this Twitter. This really surprised me. Twitter at 64,000, Instagram at 37, who'd have thunk it? Facebook, I mean, it just is not mentioned that much, but look at the number of videos. So you can see, for example, if this is your topic, you might sit here and think to yourself, hmm, where can I compete 
where is there not a lot of traffic with this phrase, with this topic, with this brand name? Where can I stand out, right? So let's see what happens if we pull and say we want negative sentiment. Now it's going to tell me what is it, what phrases and what social media posts have a negative sentiment, right? But you know, actually this is positive. I can change that, see? Destroying my to-do list, he's productive, growth, small business. He's actually positive. So you can go through and really customize these, right? Um, the forced return to the office is the definition of insanity. So this is clearly a negative one. So this can tell you that this is a topic that you might want to explore some more. You know that people are not having a good time with that in the area of small business. Um, companies not paying enough to people, all the money, right? So you can see in the negative, there's a lot, where is the dissatisfaction, right? That's telling you that. You can look at, let's look at analysis. And you can see these are just huge numbers, really, really big numbers. Uh, and this is telling you that this this is a, now I would wanna compare this over time. So if this is something that you're paying attention to, you wanna compare this over time to see, does this count as a lot of velocity? If you are looking for general influences in this space, who are the small business influencers in this space, like in the last 30 days? And you can sort by influence. We can sort by, wow, look at that. Look at all the TikTok people here. What is that all about? I don't like that. Okay, so, but that's only one mention. So I'm going to go with who is talking a lot about this? Who has mentioned small business over the last 30 days? So this person has made a lot of mentions. Um, they've got like just this not very influential. So you can absolutely just work your way to find that uh, and plug away at this type of thing so you can see. I'm going to, um, I wanna talk a little bit about reporting Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about reporting. This is really great if you are um, creating a report for a client or a brand. So if you're an agency, uh, you can create reports. If you're in the marketing department of a company, you can also create reports that make it really easy to explain to your management team or to anyone who's interested exactly uh, how Brand24 works works or what the most important issues are for your customers, for your audience, and possibly uncover some things that may not have been, um, have not come out, you know, that aren't easy to see. This is the only, I don't know if this is the only tool, it's the tool that I use that tells me what the state of small business is and what people are talking about. Uh, lulls in conversation. If your website traffic is down, if something is down, you can say, wow, you know, people are just not really active in this space. You can take a look at the context of the discussion. Small business owners, always hot. Money, always hot. Marketing, these are the most important um, words that are used in social. Um you can out, you can see the most active profiles for your influencer campaigns. You can see the sites that are most influential for small business, and you can see the trending hashtags that are associated with that. So that will help you reach out to more people. So that is how that reporting works. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, which I really loved, is this beta section that they've launched in Brand24 that talks about topic analysis. Now in this case, we're looking at topic analysis for small business. And that does is not looking right to me and I'm wondering if it's, I 
these are, I love this. This is just so fun. These are the most popular emojis that small business owners use. Super fun. This, let's see what comes, comes back here. This, I really love. It talks about, you can see who the most popular, you know, who is now, of course, this is a broad topic, but you're going to see those influencers. You're going to see who those people are who are having certain conversations. I would like to have a topic analysis and I don't understand why you can pick a time. There we go. That's a little bit better. So now you can see that this guy here, this green topic, and it's in descending order, but you can see people are talking about scaling, social media management, SEO benefits. So you could see the overall broad topics that people are interested in, and that's gonna help you create more content. It's gonna help you make sure that you're addressing these issues so you can see here are the biggest topics here are the population you can see where they're having this conversation you can see um exactly you know how that's come up to be a popular conversation i'm in the world of marketing i want to hear how that's going and that can t this can tell you where all of these things are. Let's do a topic analysis for marketing and see what comes up. See, these are sort of general, but it will tell you, you know, exactly oh, the kinds of things that you should be talking about. Business success, that's the most popular topic. Of course, marketing has to be in there. Entrepreneur has to be in there. It's mostly positive. I think that's kind of interesting. Unbelievable how big a uh, share Twitter has of this. So that means if you're talking about business success, you know, talk about it on Twitter. Um, so I hope this gave you an idea and a peek into Brand24, why it's been one of my favorite tools for many, many, many years. So uh, let me just kind of talk about the specifics here. Uh, pricing. Now, a lot of people that use Brand24 are agencies. Uh, but look, if you're an individual person, you've got three keywords here, uh, three projects that you can track. Uh, I've overdone it. I've been with them for quite a while. I've overdone it. But I think that $69 is absolutely affordable, doable, and worth every penny. I think that uh, it is just a terrific terrific tool of course they've got a free trial so you can definitely get in there and do that search and do the exploring uh maybe bring this video back up again and sort of explore along the way i just know you're going to love it regardless of how big of a business you are whether you're a thought leader brand 24 is an outstanding social media listening tool continues to stay relevant year over year snap it up